This image was taken out of the window of the Apollo 11 command module, Columbia, on July 21st, 1969. With Earth in the far background, the famed lunar module carrying astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin returned to the Columbia after the pair became the first people to ever walk on the moon. But there's another story here about something not in this image. Within this photo is every person alive on July 21st, 1969. All the billions of people on Earth, plus the two in there. It shows the entirety of the human race. Well, except for one, the man who took this photo, Michael Collins. Which seems fitting for a man who has been dubbed the loneliest man in the universe. After the lunar module left for its famous descent, command module pilot Michael Collins was left by himself orbiting the moon. And not for an insignificant amount of time. I'm sure everyone's familiar with Neil Armstrong's first steps and famous words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But those were mere seconds of the 21 hours the duo spent on the moon. And to make matters worse, for a portion of Collins' moon orbit, his radio was completely cut off from both Earth and his fellow astronauts. For approximately 48 minutes, every trip around the moon, Collins was the most isolated man in human history. More than 200,000 miles from Earth, with no way of knowing what was happening, no one to talk to, no one to listen to. His work was the only thing he could do, and he tried to stay busy enough to keep away those bad thoughts that creep into one's head during solitude. My concerns uh, were not within the command module, but simply that something might go wrong with the uh, lamb, with the lunar module, and these two guys might get stuck on the surface of the moon. That was my, my main concern. Liftoff! We have a liftoff! The idea that he would be the only person to come home from a three-person crew was a real possibility, and one that he was both prepared for and terrified of. Orders were in place that if something should happen to the lunar module, if it could not return to the Columbia, Collins would return home alone. President Nixon would make an announcement giving the message to the entire world, as well as the two stranded astronauts who would be taking their last breaths on the surface of the moon. The speech, which was actually written in case of disaster, was not sugarcoated. It began, quote, Fate is ordained that the men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. These brave men, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin, know that there is no hope for their recovery. But, as we know, that didn't happen. The Eagle landed and returned, giant leaps were taken, and Houston had no problem. Michael Collins' worst fears did not come true, and all three landed back on Earth safely. But while both the first and second man to step on the moon became household names, Michael Collins didn't. He became the forgotten astronaut, which he later expressed in numerous interviews in his own book, was alright with him because he knew that even though his boots never touched alien soil, he'd played an integral part of man's journey forward. He was happy with the job he'd done. He didn't want to be a celebrity, and he didn't feel he was a hero. He was satisfied being an astronaut and the pilot of the successful Apollo 11 mission. For more on this, check out this next episode on how this guy, who is not an astronaut, still managed to take this selfie on the edge of space. Really, in the space suit, it was definitely quiet. And I could look up to the blackness of sky and down to the blue curved earth below and really have a moment of wonder and awe. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.